The eruption from one of Central America's most active volcanoes has sent lava flowing into rural communities. The National Disaster Management Agency, Conrad, said a river of lava hit the village of El Rodeo, destroying houses and burning people inside. The recent eruption of Fuego, a volcano in Guatemala, produced a deadly pyroclastic flow. News reports about the eruption made it clear that there's some confusion about the nature of pyroclastic flows. A pyroclastic flow is a type of density current, and today we're going to show you how you can make your own density current to help illustrate what's going on with eruptions of this type. Okay. For this demonstration, all we need is a tank of water, we need some dirt, and some food coloring. Very simple. When we mix the dirt with water, we create a fluid with a higher density than ordinary water. Stop. Gravity will exert a stronger force per unit volume on this higher density fluid than the surrounding water pulling it downhill and forming a density current. In the case of a pyroclastic flow, volcanic ash, pumice, and rock fragments combine with volcanic gases and ambient air to form a dense mixture that is pulled down slope by gravity in the form of a density current. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, these things can flow faster than 400 miles an hour on the steep upper slopes of volcanoes, and they carry enough kinetic energy to flatten buildings. In 1902, a pyroclastic flow from Mount Pele on the island of Martinique completely destroyed the town of Saint Pierre. This pyroclastic flow on the island of Montserrat had so much momentum, it actually flowed out over the surface of the ocean. Pyroclastic flows are not lava flows, and in fact, in most cases, are much, much more dangerous. Vamos. Vamos a, a 